Hey guys, welcome to another video of making a full stack shopping website tutorial series. And today we are going to actually sort our product products and then send them to, to our front end through an API. We'll set up that product, you know, in our front end in the next video. But in this video, we actually are going to sort all of our products so you can actually see that we are ready to go. And then we are ready to go to actually work on our front end and we can actually sort of our products there. Okay. So without wasting the time anymore, let's get started. And if you have not accessed this playlist yet, just access this playlist, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done already. Like this video, share this video, and comment down below how is everything going in life and what type of videos you will need in the future. So yeah, let's get to it. So first of all, I will open my Visual Studio code as usual. So in the previous video, we learned how we can add a new product into our database. Okay, so I didn't do much of a cool stuff. Okay, so basically right at this current moment, anyone, any user can literally add a product into your website. Okay, so when the series end, we will see something that we will make some kind of admin panel if I got a good support. Otherwise, we will just keep it this way. Uh, we can, you know, what we can do later on when you know if everything is done, you can just get rid of this page so no one can actually make a, you know, you can actually remove this, uh, this from here, this add product so no one actually can make any request to adding the products. Okay, so yeah, it's all up to you and all up to the support I get in this YouTube channel. Okay, now let me just close all of the things. Now we need to go back to here, to here in the next one this one now here what we are going to do we said if uh, someone made a post request to add products okay now we need to make another thing called as get requests so if someone make a get request to slash get products we want to use the get products function so we will make here uh, we will make here a new folder with the name of oh, one second we get products products okay we limit as grad products dot JavaScript and we will just say constant get products is it going to be an asynchronous function it will have the request and the response and it's going to be like that and here we just want to get a constant uh product schema is equal to require uh okay dot slash dot slash model slash products so basically here what we can do we need to just say first of all constant uh data is going to be the products schema dot find so what is going what is this schema dot find going to do okay we need to say await oh, so it is going. To, this thing is just going to return us all of the products that we have in our products data in our, that are in our database, uh, in our database collection, or in in our in our, in our collection of product. Okay. So we have two products for now. We can just console log it directly. So console log data, or we can just say response. Let's send the data right. And, and we will say model export is is equal to get products. Okay, get products. Get products when you just say remove the ask shift plus enter, it will automatically import it here. Okay, good. This is a get request, so we can uh, go to a Thunder client here. Okay, this is for the post request, right? Let's keep it there. Let's add a new request. HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon five thousand slash API slash uh, get products. Okay, let's do a send. Let's do the server. Send. Okay, we got uh, three items, right? Yeah, that's right. We got three items. So this was whatever we had in our database. Good. Now we can just stop it here. And we can go back here. Back. We can actually start our work, okay? So now we know what type of data we're getting back. Now, how we are going to, act, going to actually sort it out? Because we don't know. The titles can be different, right? So what we are going to do... We are just going to say constant 
uh, sort of data it is going to be an empty object and just an object having nothing so what are we going to do we are going to add a key to this object and the key is going to contain an object itself and that object will have kind of like a structure I'll just give you a little bit of example right here I'll select exam is going to be equal to like that so we'll just have uh, the uh, product title then we will have some object like that in this object we will have a title uh, blah blah and we have all we will have all other things okay like the total quantity of all of the products sum up and at the end what will what we're going to have the, about the colors and the sizes we'll have a color like that color is going to be an array it is going to contain the colors that are actually available in the red blue uh, then we'll have a size size just going to be added like that as size and maybe uh, M size all right okay so this is what is going to be different the title is just going to be same the slug oh okay about the slug the slug is just going to be the slug of the product which has the highest quantity and and about the image the Im we're going to put the image of that product which is just going to be the, which is just going to have the most quantity okay so we just want the famous one to stand out well so someone, someone someone wants to click on the product itself alrighty so you can see you, you already saw how we are going to sort it out and if there are two reds okay there are two reds what we're going to do we'll just add the quantity by one and we will not do anything here okay that's as simple as you can think of it okay good now what we what we are going to do we will just say data for each uh, get the elements like that okay just the for each loop and now here we will just say first of all okay if the quantity of some product is zero let's say if available quantity of something is zero I will just mention you something I'm going to be compass let's go there let's just do a real quick connection let's go to databases shopping website products okay let's say we have a product this product its quantity is zero we don't want to add this thing into our database into our product sort of data right so first of all we will put that check here we'll say if e dot qty is greater than zero then we want to do something if it's not greater than zero then we want to do nothing right well that was the first step now in here what we want to do we want to have if else statement if statement is just going to be for if like I already told you we have I pushed red color into our database if red came again or let's say if the title was already pushed as a key into this uh, empty object if that key already exists of that title key already exists and the we are again trying to push it we'll say just have an if condition if that is already pushed in the object then we all just we want to do is what we will just add the quantity uh, and then add the Okay, we'll create another one. We'll say, uh, we'll say constant. Okay, one second. It's not going to be constant, I guess. Yeah, because we are going to change, right? So we'll say let, uh, highest QTY data. It's just going to be an object. And this object is going to contain the name. Uh, it is it's just going to contain the quantity uh, not exactly the quantity right oh yeah so what, what we're going to do we're just going to keep pushing the quantity uh, slug and the image of the products in here and at the end we will use a uh, error what we say which one can we use I think we will use a reduce array function to actually get the highest one right yep it will give us the product with the highest quantity that's good so here we'll just say if either title is already in our sorted data then we want to do something so we're just saying if this either this title is already in in our sorted data object as a key then we want to do something okay something specific if it's not then we want to do something else right so now we have two conditions in the else condition we would do we, what we want to do we want to add a new key inside of our sorted data object so first of all we are going to do that what we are, how we can do that we need to just 
directly copy over this element this e so e just like you know we're starting we're looping through all of the uh, products this is one e this is another e this is another e this is an e just like element okay so what we want to do we would just want to directly copy all the everything all the data all the data that we have here and put uh, put that data as an object uh for the with the key of this title right we just want to copy it so how we can do that we can just say uh sorted data e dot title with this key it is going to be equal to okay now here's the thing we need to deep copy it so there is a thing if we're just going to say is equal to e then what is going to happen they're going to create a kind of like a connection with this thing uh they're going to create a kind of like a connection with the element itself right but what if i just want you know deep copy it? maybe in the later future where i will change something in here i don't want something to affect anywhere else but i know it's not going to affect anyone anything else so just to be a little bit more sure that you are actually copying it you're not just you know linking them together what we're going to do we're just going to first of all uh convert this e has, is actually like a json file as a json like it has objects so it is in json format i will just stringify it and then i will parse it using json parse so exactly we're just going to get the e back but now it will not have it will not link it together it will just copy whatever data we get back because we're just stringifying it first of all then we're just parsing right so that means the difference right there okay that one was pretty okay right so now what we want to do we want to create array for the color and for the size so we'll just say sort data e dot title where e dot title is equal like that the color is just going to be uh an array having uh e dot color okay so we're just having something like that so basically what we did we just made an array so we're just going to do here replace the size so we made an array for the size also and at the end we're just going to say highest data dot push okay it has to be an array actually dot push what we're going to push here we'll push here first of all the slug slug is going to be e dot slug we'll push here the qty it's going to be e dot qty then we'll push here uh the image it's just going to be e dot image right good well that was the thing for what we are going to do in the else else condition now in the if condition itself we want to do something else what we want to do we want to push if there is the the color doesn't isn't already available inside this air color array we want to push that color inside the color array right so what we're going to say we're going to say if sort the data e dot title dot color dot e includes e dot color if it does not includes it okay then what we want to do we're going to say sort the data uh, e dot title dot push that color right e dot color only then we want to push that color okay if it doesn't include it already we want to do the same thing for the size i'm just holding alt and i'm just clicking there so they're having multiple cursors okay same thing for the size also on the top we're just going to say this thing right and what we're going to say okay we want to make sure that this sort of data with the title is should have uh you know something as a uh, what do we say uh, it, it should have the con it should have the slug the image of the highest thing right of uh, the highest what do we say okay one second you should have this slug and the image of the product having the highest quantity so for that what we're going to do we're going to have a little bit of loops so another thing to mention we're setting up the size we're setting up the color we are not setting up the e dot title dot qty okay not here here we need to say dot qty is plus equal to e dot e dot qty okay we're just adding the current the qty in the quantity of if it's already added we're just going to add the quantity okay and instead of applying give it some particular quantity here we are just copying the whole object so the quantity is already been applied okay 
Okay, now here we need to do something. Uh, I guess radius will do it. We'll just say saw the data either a dot title the slug is going to be let max is it going to be equal to highest quality data dot reduce it get a comma b and if a is greater than b then i want to give back a if a dot qty is greater than b dot qty then I want to return A, otherwise I want to return B, right? They're just going to say which quantity is going to be the uh, the largest one. And this A, B, it's not just going to loop over all the first two uh, the, uh, objects in our array. It's just going to loop throughout our whole array. So it's just going to give us the highest one, okay? Now we can just say is equal to max dot uh, slug max.image for the image one right uh, yep it's right to me okay I hope it does work pretty it, it, it does I hope it just works as we imagine it to work uh, let me just give you a really quick view to this one Alrighty, alrighty, everything seems in place. Now what we can do at the end. Here we can just say response.send. Sorted data. Actually do node mon. And if I just go to localhost. 5000 slash API slash get products. Something crashed. Includes, okay my bad. I got a typo right there. All the refresh already. So the data either title or push. Okay, title. Where do I see either title or push? Uh either title dot color dot push. Either title dot size dot push. Okay, guys. Are you seeing something? Good. I'm using the extension called the JSON formatter, so I'm just getting this formatted JSON. So basically, we have one title. Yeah, that's right. We have give. It has some particular ID. Um, I don't think ID is necessary for this thing to be honest. Well, never mind. We got the ID right. It doesn't matter for us. We have the description. We have the description of something particular. It doesn't really matter. But we want to make sure we get the description of the highest one. Comma this is just going to be e dot this. Alrighty, that's max dot description. We get the description of the item which has the highest quantity, right? Okay, we got the price. Uh mm, do we actually need the price? okay so the price is just going to be probably the same for the uh, for all of them right uh we're just going to say the price is going to be the price of the item with the highest quantity highest quantity available at least so maybe we'll just say price e dot price you know something like that and here we can do some like price Maybe if we we might have different prices for different products, so that's going to show us things accordingly, right? We have the size and we have the slug, the gray s, and we'll just confirm it right here. Gray s, yep, it has the highest quantity, right? How about it has a different price also? It has a price of, uh, eighty. Okay, it has a price of eighty. I'm just going to update it. I'm going to refresh it here. Price of H E. That's right. So yeah, it's working as we imagine it to work. And how about I add a new product? I'm seeing I did ask. Premium Nike shoes. 
Nike shoe, I'm gonna quickly go here. Nike shoes. Go to mates. Yeah, this one seems kind of like a blue thing. Oh, let me just blue. Twenty is just gonna be two. This is a nice shoe. Price is going to be one ninety nine. Edit. Okay, we got it here, right? Good. Now, if we make a, if I refresh this one, okay, you can see they added the night. They made actually two objects in here. One with the name of fancy Adidas shoe, another one with the name of premium Nike shoe. It has just the color blue and S, and just the slug and stuff like that. But this one has three, in three section th things in the colors with different with the quantity actually, whatever it was, right? We had added two quantity for this one, so it showed us two quantity. Here you can see the quantity is two. Good. So yeah, it just shows us according to whatever we want, like that. You can see premium Nike shoes, blue S, and that's right. We got what we asked for. Well, guys, that was that was it for this video. I hope you actually enjoyed this one. I will see you in the next one. And keep drilling, keep doing your things. Bye bye. Have a nice day.